Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, and welcome to a Black Ops 2 Zombies video. This is going to be a kind of like a sort of sequel video to my video I made a few days ago about parts after the Tower of Babel, and I actually think that a lot of the community are onto something with the stuff they've found now me and my friends we, we we got into a team of four and we completed the maxis and ripped off an easter egg all in one game and of course we saw the switch in different colored beams being sent to the pylon and then afterwards we tried a, a few other things now only this is shed to light a few days ago but people have managed to get maxis to say other quotes after completing the easter egg and uh, this is what this is what we've been getting so far So yeah, me and my friend were on round one after completing the Maxis Easter egg and ripped off in a separate game. And uh, weirdly, I could see the the uh, the tower, the uh, the tower with all the the lights and beams going up it, but he couldn't. And we placed two turbines down in just different locations, and uh, we managed to get Maxis to say that, which um, we I personally haven't been able to get before, and I know a lot of people haven't managed to get that before. But what I actually think's happened is that the order in which we've completed the Maxis Easter egg isn't completely right because there are loads of quotes that uh, Maxis says that are in the game files and I have made a video expressing all the quotes that are uh, have not been really discovered in game yet and like they do sound like loads of uh, like steps and we haven't managed to get those steps and if you heard him say there he goes you've act now activate the spire's power now surely to activate the spire's power you've got to do the part where you put the turbines by the tower and then get the uh, electric zombie and uh, uh, capture its essence because that's essentially powering it. So what I think's happened is, like I just said, the steps that we've been doing have not been in the right order. But there's actually, what I believe now is that there's been a breakthrough in uh, what to do next regarding to the Easter egg. And uh, I'm going to let you watch this and uh, we'll let my friend explain here. He's called Mega Man 2 dk and uh, my sort of theory on how to continue the easter egg, he's basically expressed in the video and it's very well done. So I'm going to play it to you now and then we're going to go discuss about what we can do to uh, perhaps advance in the easter egg. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mega Man. And today I'm bringing you a video showing you the end after you've completed the easter egg on transit. Now I've had a game on transit today and I've completed the easter egg on the Maxis side. And two of the lamp posts that we put the turbines at at the end, they got us the achievement and they were creating orbs and sending laser beams to the top of the Tower of Babel. We thought to ourselves, oh, that's, that's awesome. So we've looked around the map and we found lots of other things. We uh, had orbs coming out of the mystery box, we've had lasers coming out of the laundry mat door in town, um, there are other videos I'm going to upload soon. And the other thing we thought of doing is, well, if we've got two of the lamp posts sending lasers to the tower, and I think the tower was like sending them back as well. Then how about we put another two turbines, you know, down at another two lamp posts? So the original lamp posts we used were the one just before the bridge in town. That's the one I put mine down at. And my friend was at Diner, so he is there. Um, so they're the lasers that were in the sky originally. And then my friend put a turbine down at the bus depot, and I put one down the other side of the bridge. And another like two orbs came out of the lampposts and sent lasers to the top of the tower as well. So it's pretty cool. I was just thinking maybe you could get all of the lampposts to send orbs or these lasers to the top of the Tower of Babel. And maybe if somebody's, you know, done that, can they let me know exactly what happens? And if uh, if not, maybe that's a theory somebody could test out. So yeah, so it's just a video I wanted to show you. Have a little check out toward the end and you see all the lasers coming from all the different areas. We died straight after it but we're going to test out the theory of trying to get all the lampposts lit. So please subscribe, yeah, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and thanks for watching. Now I believe Mega Man's little theory is actually correct. As we can see here, we've got the four lights streaming up to the top of the tower, and uh, when you complete the easter egg, you have to put two turbines down, or however many people you've got in the game, like three, you need three turbines, four, four, and then you'd have light streaming towards it, and of course, you saw there, the, you managed to get four, now something I want to point out here, if you look at the nav card table, 
you can see that the little power source is connected by a wire which runs through the ground and then up through the back of this fence and the wire goes up to one of the uh, things coming off the side of the pylon so my little idea here is that if we do what Mega Man f suggested and we link all of the all of the lamp posts by like with the streams of light that will power the pylon and then in turn that will power the nav card machine so that it will accept the nav cards and I believe that's how you actually get the nav cards to work now I think that's a really 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 good theory and that the ways that people have been managing to connect uh, the uh, the lamp posts have been really strange as you can see uh, Mega Man done that with two players now I've seen it with three players as well where they're creating a sort of scalene triangle which is of course part of what Maxis is telling you to do but in theory thinking about it you have to form all these different triangles around the map using uh, putting the turbines in different locations next to these lamp posts now it's really really confusing but in theory thinking about it I think there are eight different combinations or we can have eight different streams of light so I want you guys to try this out like literally next time you're playing the game if you've completed the easter egg before then you can go right ahead if you haven't complete the easter egg on Max's side and just try this out because I actually do believe that we can get somewhere by doing this I strongly believe that this is the next part of the easter egg and there's backup to proof you know we've got Max is speaking to us and uh, We've got more lights going to the pylon and you'd think, wow, that's been there the whole time and we haven't done anything about it? Well, there you go, that's what I think, but I want you guys to get to work. I'm going to be playing Transit like crazy over this weekend and as whenever I can to actually try and get all these lampposts connected because I do actually think we can get something out of it, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to give it a like rating. I'd say at least 2,000 likes would be really, really awesome. You guys have been so, so supportive with the feedback, and I absolutely love it. And, of course, YouTubers can't really improve unless you give us constructive criticism. And if I see that this has gotten a lot of likes, I'll be like, mmm, people like this. And be sure to check out Mega Man's channel as well, because he'll be doing a lot of similar stuff with the easter egg and uh, yeah his his link is down below in the description i want to thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to subscribe to me as well and uh, yeah until the next video stay tuned